Hi everybody, so I have 10 turns to get some amount of gold, if I can finish the battle that quickly. Ah, oh, as I feared, Runefaust has set a trap for us. Of course they have. Our forces are too small, we can't afford to divide them. Besides, our objective is not to fight, but to reach Alteron. Let's call it Alteron. I don't know why I was having so much trouble last. Uh, use a decoy to lure the enemy away on for to reach. No, I'm not gonna do that. It's a stupid plane. You don't always have to fight in order to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, listen, everyone, we can't afford to get separated. I'll take them on one by one. Uh, I was actually gonna say the same thing. I don't wanna separate my guys, because these bats here. Giant bats we have now. Um, we'll fight over here, and it's easy to just leave a couple guys over here to fight them while everybody else comes up and deals with dwarves and more bats. And this cluster of knights is the main problem. Um, so yeah, knights. <laughs> you you really have to divide them to to take them on. Uh, what was I talking about uh, last time? Experience. So um, every, every character gets a level up after reaching 100 experience. Um, and then the experience they have in excess of 100 carries over to the next level, so, uh, so, 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 they, they, blah, 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 they have more than 100 experience. And now, so I have Mei and, um, the other new guy, Gort, that are both level 2, but they have, they're level 2 with zero experience, so I'm gonna be a bit underpowered, uh, a bit, a bit harder to level up, everybody else is just a fight away, a fight or two away from level 3, and those guys aren't. Well, maybe Kong is, and Kong's a bit... He's, he's struggling behind everybody. That's fine. Um, so the way you get experience, it compares your level to the guy you're fighting. Well, if you cast a healing spell, you get about 10 experience. You can get more if you heal more. I don't... I don't... I do not understand how the, the healing experience math numbers work at all. Let's put you there. Um, but generally, uh, speaking, the way you get experience is by attacking somebody, and if you don't kill them, then the game compares their level to their level, and if you're lower level than them, then you get some amount of experience based on that. Uh, if you do kill them and they were compar uh, favorable comparison, you get 50-ish, nearly 50 experience. Uh, so, best way to level up your guys is to have them kill people. I am comfortable throwing Bert right into the fray because those dwarves are not going to hurt him. I am not comfortable. Oops, I messed that up. Not comfortable putting Hans there where the bat will attack him. That was stupid. That's <laughs> okay. Uh, I have plenty. Oh, bats have some amount of chance, some small chance of putting their target to sleep when they hit them. So that's annoying. Now my Hans is asleep. And I think some characters might be more susceptible to sleep than others. I'm not actually sure about that, but it doesn't matter. It's only a, it's, it's a weird side effect to their basic attack, which is not the sort of thing my guys are going to be doing. <laughs> Having weird side effects to their basic attack. Um, I would like Mei to kill the other bat if possible, but the only way she can do that is to run around this guy and attack him with a spear and get lucky. I'm not sure she'll do that much damage. And I don't want her running around there. I mean, I can attack him here with the spear as well. She does decent damage with her lance though, that's 30 experience because she did so much damage and her level was so much lower than the bat. Actually, what is the bat level? Six? Five? Let me take a little peek. Five, okay, that's interesting. I've never really crunched the numbers. I don't care too much about learning the ins and outs of leveling up. All I know is if your guys are over leveled, then they gain less experience. That's the important part. Except for your healers. He gained 14 experience for that. See, I don't understand healing experience. Uh, that's fine. Lo, you are kind of irrelevant. I'm gonna use... I need to um, be more aggressive with using up all of my magic for my healers now because they have four medical herbs apiece. And I want to gain as much experience with them as possible because they're really important characters. Will you guys please attack Bert? Because I would like to get this battle going. Now, Ken does not have a... Ken does need to make a kill. Okay, Ken can make the kill. My phone is ringing! Time on <laughs> I just finished recording Gish and it fell out of my pocket onto the ground and then it started ringing. That's okay, it was a wrong number. Uh, certainly nobody I know, so it must be a wrong number then. Uh, Luke, you could go hit the bat. I'd rather Gort did it, and Gort cannot do it. I'm just gonna wait for that bat to take another turn and move closer. 
because nobody really uh, is in a good position. Nobody I want to kill him is in a good position to kill him. So, oh, Gort, you can attack. A dwarf. He has an axe. Look at you, Gort. So you'll notice the um, two warriors and the two knights that we have now. They have basically the same sprites. The same, definitely the same animations. So they get used to seeing it. <laughs> and there are so many centaurs in this game. They all basically have the same sprites and animations. Uh, Bert, I do not want you to get that kill, and I do not want you to move too far forward. So you defend right there. Oh, good, he woke up. Uh, there's a random chance of waking up. I don't know how that works either, but he could have stayed asleep indefinitely in theory. Uh, from that effect, uh, Tau, you're not my first choice either. I don't know why that bat moved away instead of attacking. No, um, bats have higher evasion, so I, oof, so I got lucky that I hit him twice there. Uh, uh, in, in theory, this didn't really come through in the original game, but in theory, your archers have an easier time hitting them. But it's not, it's not much. I mean, you know, in, uh, I'm okay with Gong getting this experience. You know, in, uh, Final Fantasy X, your flying enemies are nearly impossible to hit with anybody but Waka, who has the ranged attack. That's not what it's like in this game. <laughs> and then Waka almost always hits them. But in this game, it's, they just have higher evasion. Is there anybody for you to heal? I'm guessing no. I'm guessing no. Um, yeah, and they just have slightly higher evasion, and your archers have slightly higher accuracy. That's all. That's all it is. It's not crazy exaggerated numbers. But really, your best bet is using um, uh, magic against them anyway, because magic never misses. I didn't never happen to this. First time I've said that. That's kind of important. Look, Ken, he missed with his spear. That's embarrassing for him. Uh, it's okay. Luke has an axe now, so he does tons of damage. You are an amazing warrior there, guy. Uh, okay, level three. Defense up by three. That's excellent, because that's what he's good at. HP up by four. That's excellent, because that's what he's good at. I don't care about his speed. He, my, my dwarves are always going to go last. Last-ish, anyway. Look at that defense. Man, I do want to heal him, though, because it's five hit points. Gort, um, okay that he didn't get a kill. Oh, no, he can get this kill. That's good. Run him all the way around. Uh, so that he's a bit more, a bit, a bit closer to the knights, I guess, that's the point. I would like to make sure Gort and May both get up to level 3 by the end of the battle. Everybody else that doesn't end up at level 3 will be nearly level 3, nearly enough that it's fine. I'm gonna stand you, oh, that's not, I can't stand you in the forest, okay. Uh, I'm gonna stand you here anyway, because you have crazy high defense and these guys are not gonna hurt you. And as long as you don't get a kill, I'm happy with that. So, the, my leveling strategy is to save kills for the people who need to level up. Um, not that time, apparently. I've wanted Hans to get the kill. Uh, so, characters who are higher level, I'm not going to kill with them, I'm just going to do damage with them, and they'll still gain experience that way. But then the guys like Tao, that's why I'm trying not to kill things with Tao lately. <laughs> but the guys um, who are level 2, I want to get in there and get the kill with them, so that they gain maximum amount of experience, like me here. You get that kill, me. that's fantastic. Um, so that's, uh, that's how I'm leveling up my guys. So apparently dwarves have three more defense than bats, because you did three less damage. Defense up by one, HP up by one. That's kind of a pathetic upgrade. I needed your uh, attack to go up. That's your most important stat, <laughs> in my opinion. May is probably... Uh, can Gong attack? He sure can. May is probably the weakest knight in the game, and there are a lot of knights. <laughs> I don't know if I've said that yet. It's, it's like they wanted the, the developers of the original uh, defense up by two, speed up by one, HP by three, and speed by two. That's an excellent level. Um, it's like the developers of the original had in mind how many characters they wanted in the game and ran out of ideas and and like needed to repeat sprites and stuff, so they just made more knights. <laughs> that's what it seems like to me. Um, but that's fine. I mean, they, they're good characters. I like having them around. Uh, I need to kill you with somebody who's level two. So, question is, do I want to run up this way and try to entice the knights and ignore the bats, or do I want to run up this way and kill the bats first and then pull down the knights? I think I'm going to do the knights first, because the bats 
shouldn't be too much of an issue. Ooh, Ken, you are level two. I'll take it. I want to stand you there. Hopefully you don't miss again. I don't want to move him too far forward. So I need my guys with high defense to move forward. Stay in front. And if he's forward, then they can't break forward. It's funny how that works. Speed up by one, HP up by two. Okay, how many level two characters do I have left? Gort, of course. Uh, I'm going to stand him in some shrubbery here. Some bushes, apparently. And turn five. Wow, I'm making good time. Let me check. Three, three, three... Three, two, okay, slow, but he will, he'll definitely get it, he gets free experience, so there's no problem there. I don't want you moving too far forward, just in the bushes, Noon as well, I don't know if these bats are going to move, apparently not, okay, that's good, because I don't want them to move before, okay, you can stand there, that's safe enough, um, I want you to heal May. So I'll move May to there, and Gong can heal himself. Yeah, I want the knights to approach before the bats approach. And I even want to give them a shot at me before I attack them, which I will show once we get around to it. I wish you would move forward. So, <laughs> I've used five of ten turns. And what makes this cluster of knights difficult is um, that they all take turns at the same time. So, you know, one will attack somebody, and then another will attack the same person, and another will kill them, third will attack somebody. I mean, you, gotta, it's, you have to be really careful. You have to take them out quickly, as, as many of them as you can quickly. Uh, Lowe's attack up by one, defense up by one, speed up by one, MP by three. That's pretty decent level up. Thank you very much. Um, so I want to get just within range of the front one and not within range of any others. So right above those bushes looks like, and we're not close enough. Okay, I don't know if I think Mort could get close enough. Okay, well let's uh, hopefully now I'm gonna entice him over to me, and the plan here is that uh, it will separate them, so the one will come down and get his attack. And none of the rest will have a chance, and they'll all take their turns together, and then I'll finish off that first one. And that's my plan, but I have to wait for them to come to me. If I go to them, then once they take their turns, because they're all taking turns at the same time, uh, they'll just swarm over with my guys and ruin me. I'm going to make sure to keep May on the road. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's nobody else to heal. This is a good time to check before I see the bat is coming. Oh, no, Ken. Okay, but Lo can do it, I believe. Yeah, okay, good. So, Gong can just wait. I'm gonna save up his last heal spell, cost 3 MP. Yep, excellent. That's just could not have gone back. Um, and they only do 2 damage to Gort. I was afraid that because Gort is a little under level, but it's gonna take a lot of damage, but that's good. Uh, yeah, well, the heal spell costs 3 MP. Ooh, Lowe's already out of heal magic. Um, so I wanted to save enough MP to cast it one more time. It's more reliable than medical herb. Medical herb always heals for 10, which isn't very good. <laughs> Whereas heal spell, I think, can heal up to 15 or something. Okay, now I want to hit him once with somebody and then finish him off with Gort. And everybody else can worry about the bats for now. Uh, I would like Ken to stand on the road. There's Gort. That's excellent. And he can be healed. As well, not that he needs it at all. <laughs> I barely took any damage. And there's level three. Good. Oh, and defense up by three. That's excellent. Super defensive. Um, as the game progresses, Luke is slightly better than Gort. On average, the, the level up stats or stat increases during level ups. Bit random. I'm gonna move Bort. Blah 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 blah. blah. Bert forward to entice guys. Keep Hans in the bushes. Oh, wow, I don't know why that bat, where that bat is going. <laughs> That's confusing. <laughs> he could have attacked and he didn't. Um, yeah, but so the, the stat increases as we go are a bit random. So he might not actually end up stronger, but on average, Luke will be stronger than Gort. Like on average, May will be the weakest knight, but that doesn't mean she always will be the weakest knight. There, there, that's what I was expecting to happen every time she attacks a bat. Um, now I'm taking a step back with all of my guys. Uh, I need to keep at least one healer up here. Use a medical herb instead of my healing magic, just in case somebody needs a full heal. Should have done the same with low. 
a little while ago, but that's fine. It'll end up fine. As long as I'm getting these knights to come at me one at a time. Yes, you attack, please. Thank you very much. That's excellent. Now, three knights together I can handle. Four knights was still pushing it a little bit. Five knights was right out. <laughs> no way. Uh, I would like you, in fact, to attack the bat. If you can get... So, I like to get my healer's kills as... Oh, poo. As often as possible, because... Ugh, I know it's... Because that is the most experience they could possibly gain at one time. Other if if they don't ever gain kills, ever make kills, then they never gain 50 experience at once, and then they'll always have to gain incremental amounts of experience as they go. I'm separating my guys too much. I'd rather keep you on the road. Gives you easier to make it back. It's okay. We can aside. He has an easier time making his movement is so high. He has an easier time catching up to the other guys. But I'm still not crazy about the idea of separating. In later battles, we'll be up against mages who do area of effect attacks, and we need to be careful about positioning characters next to each other. That'll be that'll be fun time. <laughs> so once we get to, I was going to talk about more stuff as well, but hang on. Um, no, I would like to entice the furthest one away. Uh, because all three of these characters can take as many hits from knights as they want to. Alright, so right there is the perfect spot. Hans cannot, though. Hans can probably take one. Uh, find out where it's safe for him. Okay, that is not safe for him, but... That should be fine, okay. And that, I don't know what the bats are gonna do. Of course, they're gonna go down there and not attack anyone. These bats are so confused. I have no idea what they're doing. How? I love using you against bats. So excellent. She's gonna be underpowered, actually, if I don't let her keep getting kills. Never mind. She made it for one. Attack one doesn't matter. Defense one kind of doesn't matter. MP6. That's great. Magic is for Blaze level two. I'm not gonna get a chance to show that off in this battle, I expect, but it, um,. Uh, yeah. use Blaze level 2. I, don't, I would actually rather try to kill the bat. Um, Blaze level 2 damages your target enemy and every enemy adjacent to it. It still only has a range of 2, so it's, 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 you have to get close to a group of people to use it. Uh, I would like you to not get attacked by knights. Wow, that guy didn't move. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> um, he definitely would have attacked me in the original game there. Yeah, I was changed a little bit in this encounter. And that other guy didn't, wow. Yeah, they they put an effort into making this encounter easier, apparently. <laughs> That's fine. Although, you can do some damage. This is good as a healing as far as experience goes, so go for it. Uh, Luke, you can. That's excellent. Um, yeah, so Blaze Level 2 is really good. So what makes the mages really good is that they can damage more than one enemy with an attack. No other characters can do that. Uh, they have to be adjacent to each other, so it's a bit situational, but it is pretty excellent once you get the chance. It also steals experience from other people, though, which is something I'll talk about once the situation comes up, but I, I use it a bit more sparingly than other people. I don't use mages as much as other people as well. Gort, you are rocketing ahead. Defense level 2. And you're not gaining any attack. Oh, we are in turn 9. We need to get on with this. We've been just dancing around them enough. It's time to, I guess we have one more turn. Nah, I've got this one. That's 400 gold, all for me. And gold is pretty good, because you, can, uh, you cannot attack, that's fine. You cannot attack anybody, you were just positioned really horribly, and I apologize. Um, uh, that bat is done for, I don't need to wear they're all done for. Oh well, oh I should have used a medical herb. Gain 10 free experience, cause why not? And I should be, go. Oh, low he fell asleep. I was gonna say I should be greedy and give low a chance to kill that guy. But, oh well, <laughs> that's fine. He uh, is asleep now, so he's not gonna get a chance. For some free experience for Tao, why not? And to me, I would love it if you got the experience. I think the accuracy is higher with thrown weapons. No, don't use silly face. Gotta equip. No, don't remove. No, I didn't even know you could do that in the middle of the battle. Am I doing this wrong? 
There it is. Okay, that's how you equip with it. Wow, that was stupid. <laughs> oh, dealing with the UI. Fun times. Wow, that still did a ton of damage. Mate, you are pretty decent right now. I gotta say, I'm level 4. Wow, and attack up. That's good. Defense 2 as well. Speed 3, that's very good. HP 1. Alright, that's, that's a great level up, May. I appreciate that. You can heal somebody. I think you're safe enough standing here. I don't think anybody will kill you. And even if they do, we're right at the end of the battle. It doesn't matter. So, gain your last healing experience. And make sure Bert is topped off. Oh, that's fine, because they're just going to attack Bert anyway. <laughs> and do barely any damage at all. <laughs> that's excellent. And there's another one. Stab him in the back. That's fine. So I have... Oh, a counterattack. That'll speed things up. I have this last turn. I think that's the end of the turn. Oh, no. Oh, it's okay. Not even. Not even on the last turn yet. Make sure to kill him with level 3 guys. Nobody level 4 is allowed to get their kills. Keep my guys leveled together. And there's some, man, oh, lots of level 4 guys now. Oh, attacked by 2. He found a bronze lance. That's excellent. Sometimes enemies drop um, items, and that's why I don't want to keep my hands full during a battle. So that when I kill somebody, if they drop an item, I have room for it. And I think in this game, you can put something in the item box if they drop it. In the other games, you just don't get it, which is sad. You don't even get a chance to exchange your medical herb for it. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> Great, the enemies have all been defeated. Let's hurry to Alteron.